make competitions uh, where it doesn't allow a coach to have a good pre-season in preparation for the long season. I think that's why he's had so many injuries. These players has really not been conditioned for such intense uh, kind of exercise. But I wonder if you couldn't argue conversely the fact that they've already had two tough competitive games. They beat Masembe here. They had come from behind. They showed great fortitude. They've had a trip to Tunisia, which is sort of character building. Whether that hasn't got them running already out of the starting blocks and ahead of the chasing pack, who's still finding their feet at the beginning of the new campaign. That can only help them short term, but uh, for the season, it's not good enough. In fact, I think Sundance will have a problem. The lack of precision is, is a letdown. Here's the pace of Spandil now. Scott's in the middle, draws it back. It's going to be a goal kick. A disappointment for Carbo Zonda. Great pace from Spandil. This man is quick. I'm not sure what happened. He seemed to slow down a little bit when it got closer to the ball. At that stage, I thought maybe he should have accelerated in preparation to whip it across. But that's when he slowed down. He slowed down almost to look across to see what was available. Whether he should drag the ball back or should he lock it square. Duenia's header. Now Duenia again. Big strong player is my father Duenia. Javangu, most of the action coming down this left-hand side. Carlsen, last touch from Batabaira, throw in for Sundowns. It's funny, what would have happened most of the time is you'd have the diagonal ball coming from uh, the left channel to hit the right-hand side, but now they're coming from the left to hit uh, Lerlato Shabango on the left-hand side. There he goes, shot! Just over the top. It was a poor clearance from Celtic, his first effort at playing a 1-2, actually came off a defender, set it up for him, took the crack. And of course his position down the left-hand side allows him to cut to the inside, this one fell, fell perfectly for him, look at it once more time. And of course it rebounds from the defense, falls nicely for him on the volley, over the bar. Well that was close. So, Sundowns with a third attempted goal, but they certainly have had more of the possession one would fancy. So, Spandil just uh, limps away from that incident. So, Mary will take the free kick. Muriri's in there, looking for Iguenya. A little bit too much of an angle on that header. He was perhaps uh, trying to get it goalward. Now Lorevi. That's good solid defence from the youngster in Trapo, who's in for a tough debut here against the player of the guile and ability of Lorevi. I think uh, Lorevi perhaps wanting to show just a little bit too much to the supporters early on here. That is a fantastic tackle from a 21 year old in his very first official game at this level of the game in, uh, in South Africa. And add to that, he's playing in an unusual position. He's a right full-back uh, player, but now he's been dropped to the far left there, and that he's doing... Uh, he's done so well so far. Strong header away from Batabaire, who, uh, although not the captain of the side, certainly a strong leader at the back there, the Ugandan. He was part of the team that uh, won the Super 8 title two years ago. Carbo Zondo's first trophy success, the Charity Cup last weekend, after his long career with Classic and Golden Arrows, and now in Bloemfontein. That's three of the four provinces, I think, uh, he's done... Uh, only the Cape left, really, for him to take charge of a team. Here's Chabangu. Nyandoro. Nyandoro again, Mere. Celtic under a bit of pressure here. Now, Naremi, Nguenya. Chabangu's first touch was a little strong. That's a lovely ball played back by Nguenya. Great vision there. Well, his position there, being such a strong player, it gives him the ability to hold on to the ball. But as for technique, I think it was excellent how he just gestured it back to the oncoming Lerato. 
It's first touch letting him down. Brian Beloy now gets a rare touch and you fancy that Sundowns are dominating the last five minutes worth of possession. 77% William. Impressive indeed, but Brian off his line like a flash to be able to uh, pick that one. I think uh, this is one thing that Brian has done very well so far. He doesn't stay in his line, he's always up there on the edge. But he needs just to be worried of uh, that long uh, ball coming from the midfield. Gandoro, Leremi, Nguenya, left footer. Didn't uh, manage to really get the kind of power he was looking for. Only five starts last season for Sundowns, battling, of course, with injury. The former Wits University man, 26 years old now, but, uh, well, you can see he is physically and skill-wise a real candidate. If he can stay injury-free and keep himself in 100% tip-top condition, I think you can pencil his name in for a 2010 World Cup. He has the stature that South Africa would need against those world-class defenders. Chabangu, lovely running here. Lekotwane. Well, he gets a round of applause from the supporters. who will be seeing him in the sundown shirt for the first time after his quick debut against Sfax in Tunisia last Saturday. Impressive run from defence here. For once, he's been able to break loose. And this is the kind of runs the coach will be expecting from him. Of course, uh, add a bit of quality with the ball crossed into the box. Uh, that's all the coach will want from him. Chibangu backing in to defend the Madidi Lani. That's the decision from referee Abdul Ibrahim. Well, I wonder who was climbing over who, William? Clearly, Madidi Lani was climbing all over the uh, Laratu Chibangu in that case. I thought maybe it should have been an incident earlier on. Morning floats it in there. Well, if Celtic came here to play football today against Sundowns, I think they've been taught a little bit of a lesson at the moment. They perhaps have got to look at some other avenues. They've got pace up the left hand side with Spandil. Gobese perhaps not as quick on the right and uh, still finding his feet. But players like Mathlatsi and Scott are going to struggle for service unless they do something, maybe spread it out wide. Well, I think Skakane is the player. We saw him with that first uh, ball that he caught. He spread nicely wide, and yet uh, the fact that Scott was caught offside in that case. But he's the player that is supposed to provide the quality. Yes, Chabangu now looking for an opportunity. Gwenya's in there. Carlosa saved by the keeper. Second chance. He's missed it. Well, queued up there for Sundowns. But Brett Carlson's first goal for his Pretoria. Employers still is yet to arrive. I must say he was unlucky there. I think he did everything right there. Picked the far post. Goalkeeper did very well. And of course, I think Carlos said he did the right thing again to try and get it over the goalkeeper who was already down there. And he just uh, really was let down by a, a bit of poor technique. But the idea, 100% right. So, Brett Carl sir. He scored 32 goals in his career, so he certainly knows how to find the back of the net. Close net for Mourney, the big uh, Ugandan. He's a little bit shaky, I thought, in the charity cup, uh, but came good in the shootout at the end of the uh, final. He was the hero of the night, as it were. But early on in the day, certainly dropped a couple here and there. Looks to be okay, though, and we'll be able to... Uh, continue I think it is always a big challenge for the coach to pick between the two I'm talking about Walt, Walters who's sitting on the bench and uh, Boston Omoni both of them I think have done exceptionally well in the past to deserve a place in the starting lineup well last year the coach uh, Donobriga certainly shared the jersey round Omoni played 20 of the uh, 30 league matches well, 34 overall matches that they played in league and cup competition and Walters played 14 so they uh, did share the number one jersey. I wonder if Carbo Zondo is of the same mind or whether he is going to settle on one goalkeeper and uh, the other will have to fight for his place. So, Giflaremi. 
last season, of course, uh, didn't really get much of a showing at uh, Orlando Pirates. Now, surprise!